certified most accurate forecast. And we'll, of course, have the latest on that situation starting on our news at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, and let's hope the rain clears out in time for them. It has cleared out for some parts of our region today, so we're mm -hmm. seeing some nice sunshine in, in New York, which we could certainly use. Indeed. Yes, but bit wet out there south and east of the Champlain Valley, but check out the clearing coming over Lake Champlain. This is looking from our Church Street camera toward, camera toward the Adirondacks there. 46 degrees right now in Burlington. The wind's out of the south, so it is fairly mild out there. Rutland, though, still has the showers. You see the raindrops on the camera there looking toward Merchants Row. And we've been talking about this axis setting up from Newport to Montpelier down through Rutland and Bennington. That's sort of where the showers will be persistent for most of this afternoon. But if you're west of Lake Champlain, even in Plattsburgh, starting to see some clearing blue sky, beautiful blue sky in the Tri Lakes region. Messina getting a little patch of clouds right now, but it's 62 in Messina right now. So feeling like spring out in the St. Lawrence Valley. Still raining from Newport down through Barton, St. J, Montpelier. It's not a steady rain, it's just on and off showers. That's gonna kinda be the theme this afternoon. Montpelier, Randolph, Brandon also seeing occasional showers. These aren't very heavy either, just enough to wet up the roads. Paulette, Manchester, Bennington, all seeing those showers as well. So we'll start to see the rain break up by later this afternoon, so it'll be less widespread. And some of those breaks of sun may make their way into the Champlain Valley, even part Parts of Franklin County later this afternoon, but if you're southeast of the Champlain Valley, it's very unlikely that you see the sun today. Kind of a gloomy day in the upper valley. Notice how the rain redevelops by tomorrow morning. I think if you're along I-91, you may wake up to some wet roads down there tomorrow morning. And even throughout the afternoon, you see how the rain just doesn't go anywhere. There's this front that's stalling offshore off to our east. So we get the clouds in northwestern Vermont and northwestern New York tomorrow. But then south toward Lebanon and Springfield, you have the rain showers. It's possible that tomorrow night into Friday, there's just enough cold air that catches up with the storm to change that rain briefly over to snow. That would be most likely east of I-91, so places like Grafton, Sullivan County. Could see a brief period of snow before all is said and done. Some of the trends have, bring, have been to bring that back a little closer to us, so we'll be watching that over the next couple of days. Regardless, doesn't look like a huge deal. Friday starts off with clouds, but then you see by the afternoon, it starts to turn brighter. It won't be a totally sunny day on Friday, but certainly some brightening of the sky likely even for parts of Vermont on Friday afternoon. So the heaviest rain is well off to our southeast. We still get about a half an inch of rain in the upper valley with not much northwest of there. But look at how much rain we're missing to the east. Most of that rain sets up into Maine and Maritime Canada with two to three plus inches of rain, even about two inches in Boston. It's a good thing we're missing that because we've got a lot of snowpack to melt and it's been melting. And even with just a little bit of melting and a little rain that we have in Rutland, the Otter Creek could approach minor flood stage. This would likely be later Thursday into early Friday morning. Can you imagine if we had two or three inches of rain on top of that? Wouldn't be a good situation. So thankfully, the worst of the rain is missing us and it's shaping up to be a really nice weekend. Once that clearing comes in on Friday, Saturday and Sunday are looking good with a mixture of sun and clouds. Temperatures not too bad in the 40s there. And then next week we're watching for the potential for another round of rain and snow.